Over 1.3 million Canadian families lack a safe and affordable place to live. For over 25 years, Habitat for Humanity Canada has been trying to break the cycle of poverty by building affordable housing and promoting home ownership. On today's program, we're visiting Habitat for Humanity Toronto's enterprising arm, Restore. Hosting 83 across Canada and 5 here in Toronto, Restore's are unique retail outlets that sell donated items at discounted prices, with the proceeds going to support Habitat's home building programs. I'm Ian Underwood, and I'm the CEO of Habitat for Humanity in Greater Toronto Area. So tell me why Restore launched. What was the gap it was trying to fill? Sure. Well, the story of Restore begins with the story of Habitat. So Habitat for Humanity, as you know, is an organization where our mission is to work with community partners to build safe, decent, affordable homes uh, for low-income families as a means of breaking the cycle of poverty. So for us, the more we can channel the, the money and the resources of our donors into building homes, the more low-income families we can help realize their dream of home ownership. And so in 1990, in the Habitat for Humanity affiliate in Winnipeg, Manitoba, uh, that group came up with the idea of let's have these things called restores. And so restores are or uh, are kind of the the home the home renovation source uh, for value hunters. And what restores are is we sell uh, uh, new and gently used home renovation and build and home building materials, uh, furniture products uh, at 50 to 80 uh, percent off what people could get them in the stores and uh, proceeds from the restores fund 100% of our administrative and fundraising overhead. So what's wonderful up for us as a charity is when we are now talking to donors, we can genuinely say that 100 cents of your dollar will go directly to our mission of building homes for low-income families. And how, who are the people that, that get to donate? Like, is it, is it a store? Is it individuals? Who are the donors to, uh, to the Restore? Yeah, what's very fun is there's a lot of answers to that question. So uh, many uh, corporations that deal in uh, home building products donate new products to us. Uh, we also have relationships with an, uh, many organizations. So used office furniture will often come from organizations. We have great relationships with the film industry, so we get donations from uh, film sets. Uh, we have great relationships with the uh, real estate and development industry, so stagers of homes will make donations to us. Uh, model homes that developers have, we will get donations from that. And then it is uh, uh, individuals. So uh, when a yeah, family is uh, renovating their kitchen, they, may, uh, they can call us and say, we've got a great kitchen, we just don't like it. And so our salvage crew will come in, take out that kitchen, give that family a tax receipt for the value of which we can sell the kitchen, and uh, and we've got another great product for our resource. That's awesome. And so um, I understand the social benefits, like how it's work, how it works. Um, what about the environmental benefits. Tell me more about Again, that. Again, you know, it's what's great about the Restore because there's so there's value created in so many ways. The people who buy the product are happy with what they got. The people that gave us a product are happy that it's going to good use. And yes, there's an environmental story. So uh, to put numbers around that, uh, uh, in last year, our combined Restore sold $5 million worth of products. Uh, that converted into approximately 2,500 metric tons uh, that otherwise would have gone to to landfill sites. That's significant. That's mm -hmm. that's a huge impact. What what would you see as the the primary obstacles or challenges that in the way right now? Yeah. Well, you know, probably our number one cha challenge is uh, is people knowing we're out there, both mm -hmm. for the opportunity to donate. Uh, as well as the opportunity to get great deals. Uh, we are a charity, so we don't spend a lot of money on, uh, on advertising and promotion. So just having people know this you know, best kept secret uh, where you can get uh, wonderful deals or make wonderful donations. Uh, another challenge uh, and opportunity is volunteers. So our stores are uh, predominantly volunteer run. That again is what enables us to uh, you know, do so well financially 
financially and, and support the, uh, the rest of the organization. What about uh, the accomplishments, the success stories that you're most proud of at Restore? What would you say? You know, I think the place I'd start in accomplishments is with our volunteers. Mm -hmm. So, because again, the the fabulous thing about Habitat for Humanity in general is we're a little staff with a big name and an awful lot of volunteers that bring the mission to life. And so, in the restores, that's absolutely the case. So, we have our volunteers in the restores last year gave over fifty seven thousand hours uh, of volunteer time. The value of that is over four hundred and fifty thousand dollars of value uh, and I talked earlier about salvages so last year we did I believe 167 salvages mm -hmm. uh, the again those were volunteers going into people's homes and carefully taking out uh, kitchens and bathrooms uh, and the dollar value of those pro those vanities, those cupboards, those countertops, they took those appliances they took out, uh, is in the order of six hundred thousand dollars. So those are really cool accomplishments from the hands of uh, motivated volunteers. What is out there on the horizon for a restore? Anything upcoming? Anything we should be keeping our eyes and ears open for? Well, there's a lot yeah. on the horizon for resource. Uh, we've just recently come together, three affiliates have come together to create Habitat for Humanity Greater Toronto Area, and we, we talk about big needs, big goals. Our big goal for Habitat uh, GTA is to build 100 homes every year. Mm -hmm. For us to do that, the restores will grow. And then the other things on the horizon are just lots more products and lots more wonderful uh, treasures and finds uh, for people that walk through the doors of our, of our restores in the future. Great, wonderful. Thank you so much for sitting down with me. That's terrific. Thanks for being part of uh, Habitat GTA. Mm -hmm.